Um, I've been talking with a lot of friends on Facebook. Um, recently, director or FBI director James Comey um, talked about how he disables his webcam by putting tape over it on his personal machine, and that he recommends everyone else do the same. Um, I think it's probably a better idea to go one step further, especially if you're concerned about your privacy. Um, and the way that I've generally been doing this for the last couple years is anytime I get a new laptop, um, I actually disconnect the webcam and microphone module. And a lot of laptops like this Dell here, um, the webcam and the microphone are an integrated unit here at the top of the screen. And in many cases, they have a connector that you can just unplug to disable them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate using this, uh, using some basic tools. Um, this is an iFixit kit I got from Radio Shack a while ago, but you don't actually need this. Um, the only tool that I'll be using in this demonstration is this guy. Um, and just about any thin metal tool that you have, maybe even like a small screwdriver, um, would work. But I have this, so I'm going to use it. Um, the other thing that you might need, I happen to know that I won't for this, but the other thing you might need are a set of small screwdrivers, particularly Phillips head screwdrivers. Um, this is a nice kit, um, which I happen to have, but you can use eyeglasses, screwdrivers, or any number of other things. Um, so to get started, I want to show you how to take this apart. Um, so basically what you do is you take your flat tool, and this will work on most laptops. You should probably look at the service manual for your given laptop um, to figure out how to get into the screen, but on this one, um, it's actually pretty simple. You just take the little tool here, and you find a spot where it'll go through, and then you very gently pry. Um, this totally avoids your warranty, so, you know, and it also, um, you can also break your equipment by doing this, so you gotta be super careful. Just be very ginger. I'm totally not responsible if you destroy your gear. So do this at your own risk. But anyway, so you slowly pop it out and you can actually, at some point, this one just falls open, oddly enough. Uh, but at some point you'll get your screen open. And what you're looking for is a little module. This one happens to look like this, but it's some sort of little circuit board with a connector running into it. So let me go ahead and pull this off. So this is the webcam module. It's got the camera here. There's the little LED um, that tells you when it's recording, the stereo microphone array, and um, a light sensor on this one. But the best way to deal with the microphones and the camera on a laptop, unplug them. That way, um, even though you have tape on it, um, the FBI can't record audio or any other attacker. Um, I generally think in terms of state actors more than anything else but you can and then you can go ahead and put that on and then you can just kind of like you know make sure you don't reconnect it on accident but just kind of like stow the connector somewhere I'm gonna make sure that all these little that the wire is still running where it's supposed to so I can put it back together properly there we go and then you just push it back together Oops. and everything on this guy will snap into place. You can still damage everything, snapping things back into place. So, you know, just be careful when you're doing it. Um, I've just done this a couple times recording this demonstration. So, um, but anyway, so that's generally how it's done. Um, and now the microphone is completely disconnected and so is the webcam, unless you plug one into your laptop. Now I'd recommend after you're done with this, like load a piece of software, Skype, audio recorder or something and try to record audio and see if it works. You should not, your system should probably either not record any audio and video or it should tell you that there's no camera present. Um, and if you want to reverse this, you can just pop it back open and reconnect everything. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so this is a bit more effective way to curtail surveillance. Like the tape's definitely simpler, but you know, it doesn't actually take care of the microphones, which is the big issue. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is the basic demonstration and, you know, be careful with your gear and happy hunting.